Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents Beat, or if you're new here, welcome for the first time. My name is Sadi, and today I am super excited to be starting why Raylena ended up at the Duke's mansion. I actually do have the second volume, but I can't find it because like ever since the kittens were born, the house has just been a giant mess and things are not where they should be, so. But yeah, we're starting the reason why Raylena ended up in the Duke's mansion. Why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's mansion. I read it as Raylena because I don't know, that's my brain forgets the A, I guess. Yeah, anyway, there's too many vowels in that name for me to pronounce it correctly. Mazzy has joined us. So I'm really excited for this series. I've been following it since it was just uh, an online like manhua over on to pass i think it was so when i heard this was getting an anime adaptation i was just so beyond ecstatic this series has got to be one of my favorite uh reincarnation isekai type stories although to be honest i don't really remember a whole lot about it anymore because it's been a long time like even before the anime was announced i had stopped reading it as often as I had in the past, simply because, you know, life stuff, you know. So it's actually been a long time and I don't really remember the plot. I remember loving the characters and I just remember really enjoying how they kind of take like certain like genre specific tropes and kind of turn them on their head. Because usually the genre general trope is that the main character is, you know, reincarnated into an into an otome game or like an otome novel and she is reincarnated as the villainess and she has to like kind of change her path and her role within the story in order to survive. But in this case, uh, if I remember correctly, our main character is actually reincarnated into like the catalyst for the story. So she's actually reincarnated into the side character that dies like at the very beginning of the original novel, which kind of like kicks off the novel. So she's set to die before the story even starts. And then of course the story ensues and it's just great. So I'm really excited to be jumping back into the story. And then once the anime is over, you know, going back and starting to reread the manhwa. Hopefully they do a good job and it's not gonna be like how they kind of do anime adaptations for previous like Manhwas like Nobilis and Tower of God, God of High School, you know? So I'm hoping this will be a good one. I think there's enough leeway for them to be able to actually set up a good story for 12 episodes without having to rush it, but we will see. So how about we just jump on into it and see how it goes? Let's go. I'm probably gonna be leafing through the mon the manhua too. Oh, because I don't remember how it starts. How does it start? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so they're setting up the vibe for the story, the general setting. Oh, and there she is in <laughs> the window. Mmm, that's all I like. That's almost like the exact panel. That's all, that's, wow, they're doing really good. It's only been like two shots, but they were, they're doing really good. Mm, okay, they're already setting that up. What is life? And then, ah, oh, I never got to where this was discussed at all yet. So, oh. Oh, that's right! I forgot that she was... She got that. Hello? Oh my god. That's why you never turn your back on... Oh, maybe it wasn't a stranger, actually. Oh. Was that like that in the manga? I don't remember that. Oh! I have not watched this opening yet, so. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, hello. Oh, I'm so excited for him. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that blonde or that white haired character. Mm -hmm. I hope they're not going to be rushing it too fast. I like the style though. Should I remember him? It's been so long, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like the style. Ooh. Some like James Bond type. They're cute. Oh, this is... I don't recognize anybody. Oh my god. Okay. I might have to be reading this while I'm watching this. Someone... She recognized maybe? Okay, I think they're following the story pretty accurately. Yeah, when she has dinner. They're like kind of almost matching certain panels with like panels for frame. <laughs> In response to her friend's death. <laughs> Not if she can help it. Wow, yeah, that's like... Almost like the exact panel. That's awesome. I love the fact that they're doing that. Mm-hmm. There's that panel. Okay. <gasps> Her fiancé! Oh my goodness! How could he? Yeah, He sounds sneaky. I think they did a good job choosing his voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just ignores her. Oh my god. Oh yeah? <laughs> my god. Dude. Oh, dude, <laughs> just pours it on him. My hand slipped. <gasps> All of my body. He's just like, oh, fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Girl. Oh, he's got a, got a ulterior motives. Oh, there he is showing his true colors. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, who the, whoever they chose for this voice, this character to voice this character is a. Doing a good job. I have to look him up later. Okay, it's keeping pace with the the manhwa pretty well. Ooh. The Duke of the North. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Is he? The Duke of this nation. Okay. Oh. I'm so excited. Hmm. <sighs> Capitalism. Always ruining everything. Hmm. I totally forgot. <laughs> totally forgot he was prince, pretty much. Fly <laughs> 
Oh, and there comes up her plan. All these characters, which I don't remember. Mm. Ah! Oh my god. I'm so happy he got this role. Oh! I think I remember what's going on now. Okay, okay. Unless that's a different model I was reading. I don't... Oh my god. Someone's pulling the strings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, I love him so much. <laughs> Hi, Mazzy, you like him too? Mm. <laughs> he sounds so nice. <laughs> Girl, I'd be I'd same. Same. Mm. Oh. Caught his interest. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah. I love this, this voice actor. So much. <laughs> 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 This dang useless fiance. <laughs> the way she turns. Like, oh, well, now you've caught me. Oh, he's like, what the hell? What? <laughs> he plays along, of course. His little angelic smile. Oh. oh, she steps in. Hello. Yes. Okay, I gotta look him up because he's doing too good of a job. Ooh. Puppy? Forgot. Oh, it's ending already. Okay. Okay. That was a... Uh, I think that's a good place to end it, yeah. Oh, they are! They are talking about this. Hmm. Okay. So... So they covered, like... This much. Let me see that. Of the first volume. And honestly, I think that was, like, a perfect spot to end. Like, we got... So we got our, our introduction to Rayliana. We got our meeting between her and the Duke. Um, we've set up, like, why she's important to the story. Like, the original story. Why he's important to the story. Why people are, like, interested in her. I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm going to try and keep it pretty generic. I think it was a really good adaptation for the first episode. Like, we got everything we needed, and we have our intrigue for next time. Like, now that she's caught the Duke's eye, basically, by, you know, dangling this, like, knowledge about the royal seal, what, how is, what is her next move? And what is Noah gonna do also? And, of course, what is the ex-fiancé gonna do? Because, obviously, he's not done. He's got people pulling his strings, too. I think the studio has a really good understanding for the general vibe of this manhwa and everything, so... And, at least for now, it doesn't look like we're rushing through the story. Like, this... They pretty much took, like, the intro part of the story and just turned it into an anime. So, woo. hopefully they keep it up and they don't end up, like, cutting out any good parts and stuff or trying to rush or anything, but... We'll have to see. So let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. Don't forget to drink some water, check out the socials and the Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye!